Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me to continue our Imperator of Rome livestream going for Pythias' legacy. So, I hope everyone's good. I can see Frederick and Mike already in here. How are you going, fellas? I hope you're all good. Hope the week's been okay. And i um, glad to see you, as per usual. Always happy to see you, always happy to talk. It's fantastic that you guys keep joining me regularly. It does mean a lot. Um, so, you've been looking forward to this? So have I. I've been looking forward to it to, for... Probably since the last one, to be honest, because this is the earliest day I could get it going. Uh, when do you manage to find such fantastic cover images uh, for the series? Um, so, uh, where I get them from is um, it's basically um, oh, what's it called? I don't even know what the website's called. Um, it's this guy called um, Juan Francesco Oliveras, and he's an awesome artist, and he does like um, the pretty cool kind of portraits of all these historical characters, and I can get them from there. Um, I, then the backgrounds I can just get them from basically um, get them from like I like I like the Assassin's Creed backgrounds because the Odyssey they have a lot of Greek stuff so that's where I'll probably get that and then the rest I just kind of search around to see what I can find over the internet and then just kind of assemble it all in Photoshop and it brings up like what I've got <laughs> so that is about it uh, but anyway let's um, think we're gonna like. Where were we? So I think we were getting ready to go and take over uh, whatever it is in Norway over here. I just need the claim. And then I think we can definitely go and do that. That would be the best thing to do. So we'll get the claim. We'll go all the way over into Norway. And then we'll probably go over into Caledonia here and finish them off. So hopefully I'll be able to get this achievement done during this stream. And it would be very nice to actually unlock the damn thing. Uh, but anyway, let's get rolling. So the first thing I need to do is my trade. And I want to get a good of something that I don't have. Um, I can probably get some precious metals. It's quite expensive. I mean, that would be quite useful. I can just go for a... I've got enough food. I've got more than enough food. Um, I can't get any extra cloth. Probably get some... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go precious metals. I think that would be... Yeah, we'll go precious metals. Just because it's expensive. Um, ah, yeah, I could actually do Caledonia first. I didn't think that I had the Diplo range for them. That's why I was thinking about going towards Norway, Mike. So I've kind of thought maybe... Oh, I think I do have the Diplo range. Let's see. Yeah, I have the dip. I think I have the diplomat. Yeah, I do because I've got a diplomat making a claim. Of course, I've got the diplomat. That does actually make sense. So that does seem to be the best thing. So I'll we'll probably go to Caledonia. Yeah, I can take these fellas out. They've got no allies. I can take them out with the Mercs here. I've got heavy infantry. He won't have any. They're literally going to crush everything. So I don't really need to bother with that. I mean, I'm going to up the army maintenance pretty quickly just to get them all ready. And um, I just need to quickly check our scorn families as well right now. Um, let's see how many scorn families we've we got. I've got one. I need to get rid. I can't get rid of anyone. Um. I need to place... I mean, what are you? You're traditionalist. Let's have a look at the government. Let's have a look at the government. So, I've got traditionalist. I probably could do with maybe... Keeping a traditionalist, but someone of the major family, maybe. I mean, what we've got here, we've got a Democrat. I don't really want... Um, what's this guy? This guy's an oligarch. It, an oligarch doesn't bother me, to be honest. Um, I'll place an oligarch. It doesn't really bother me at all. Uh, now, I've got a potential civil war, but... How come? That doesn't make too much sense. Um, okay, that must be a bug. I don't have any disloyalty things. So we'll figure that out as we go along. Uh, but anyway, let's get rolling. Bim, bam, and bloody boom, people. So, Civil War ends there. Not my problem. Don't really care about that. All I need now is the damn claims. And that is the only thing that's really going to take a little bit of time. Then we go towards Caledonia. I'll take it all. And then, of course, we'll integrate the pops. Because, of course, when I integrate them, we can definitely use them to colonize. Because you can only colonize with integrated pops. Or pops that are of your kind of state culture. And that's the only way we can do that. Uh, we're making enough gold. We've got enough gold in gold stock. And um, I think that would be really good. I don't really need to do anything else with that. What else can I actually potentially go for here? I might be able to tick a few off. Um, let's start at the bottom. I won't be able to do this one. Um, so, Pythias' Legacy, I could probably get, if there's another one available, I um, can't really get that one. Um, I could try and desecrate holy sites for at least 10 different religions. I could potentially do that. I able to tick that one off the lift. I can definitely try and own a legion with 10 honors, I suppose. Or build a great wonder, I can do that. I haven't even done that yet, which is pretty damn silly. I don't know how it's like possible that I've not done that. I've never really built one. Have I have I never built one? I I, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> um what do I do now? What we got in here? Maybe a Massalia I could do with probably see if we can build something. I've got some room. Um I am gonna go for an aqueduct actually in there. Pretty quickly. Um Probably going to want to see what our pot ratios are here. Yeah, I want more nobles. And we're going to go for another 
we'll go for another academy when we can. I think that would be the best thing. Then maybe once we take Caledonia and the bit in here for the achievement, we could probably try and conquer the rest of England, I suppose. I mean, why not? There's no reason why we can't literally conquer the rest. It would be a wise thing to do, <laughs> I suspect. Okay, we've got another election, which is not damn good at all. Uh, you did Antigone's Revival Campaign, but... The oh, yes, the Iron Man save was buggered, of course. That Now I remember. <laughs> now I remember the Iron Man save being buggered. So, we need to place another member now as a Strategos, but I don't think I have anybody. Oh, I do. There's this scorned guy down there. That's probably the best I can find. I'm going to place you because I don't want these being too disloyal. Uh, Barbarian Bartering. I'll do that once we get the achievement. I think once we get the achievement, I will probably try, I think, to probably fill out some of the missions here. I mean, that might be something I can do. Um, but now I need to get my uh, goddamn Senate support up again. So I can confiscate stuff, bestow head, bestow holdings, or what's this? The Volke are not integrated. Hey, Michael, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I hope you're alright. So, do I want to revoke the Volke? I suppose I could, you know. I mean, do I really need the Volke? Now, I probably don't. I could probably revoke them so I can then integrate the Caledonians and then, like, revoke them back again. I think... I mean, the Saluvians we've got the most of, so... I, I might actually revoke the Volke. What do you think? Let me go, Let me know in the chat what you guys think. Should I revoke the Volke or not? And here we'll go for the gold, because I want gold. I'm going to need to, like, bestow some... Some holdings, which is definitely something we're going to want to do. How long we got left? Half, uh, not halfway there yet. Still got a bit of a way to go. Um, I might actually start revoking holdings. I mean, I probably could. Hmm. I don't know. Do I revoke the Volke's privileges? I mean, I could. I mean, I don't think I gained too many, like, stuff from... Yeah, I don't think I gained too much from... Yeah, they're a source of heavy infantry, true. Yeah, true, they are actually a source of heavy infantry, aren't they? I might actually be able to... I think I can integrate another culture. I mean, what do we got? Hmm. These guys give us a little bit of... Yeah, they actually give us quite a bit of heavy infantry. More ratio than the others. But then again, I've got the Saluvians. And honestly, I think I can get rid of them. I mean, they've got less than the others. I, they're not... Do I... I honestly don't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'll try to integrate. We'll see if I can actually get the Senate support first without having to kind of take away the integration. Um, let's see if I can actually do it. Let's see what we can do. We can bestow some heads, holdings on heads of families, which I'll probably do first. Um... Actually, maybe they've got more seats, so we'll try and confiscate some. Then I'll bestow. That seems to be the best thing to do. So let's go head of family here. What we got here? Can I revoke a holding from you? I mean, wait a sec. What's your loyalty, by the way? You're very loyal indeed. So I'm going to revoke a holding from you. And I want to make sure that worked. Nope, it's this one. And it did, so that's fine. Uh, what about this dude? That's me. I can revoke a holding from myself. Which I might do. Does this actually work? If I revoke my own holding, would it work? And it does. So I'm just going to revoke holdings off myself. Reduce my own power. And um, of course, in the next election, he won't be too much of a problem then. So this can actually work. Okay, I love that. And we can't lose loyalty with ourselves. So, I mean, why not? <laughs> why not do that and work our way around it? So now these... There we go. We've got the, um, we've got the support in the Senate back. Which is exactly what we wanted. Thank you very much. We're at 35 now. That's good stuff. I'm happy with that. That's fantastic. Um, I might actually bring over some extra units to help us out here, to be honest. Um, I mean, what can I... I could probably raise these guys. I'm going to raise them. Screw it. Let's bring them over. I'll get you over here. I might as well. There's no reason why I can't. It'll just speed up the conquest. The quicker we can get it done, the better it will be. The easier it will be. And that's just what we want. And then I'm very tempted to take on... Like, take over Gaul and Britannia might be the... The course of action next. This stream might not be as long as the others because um, I have a little bit less time today so I'll probably go up to the achievement and then see if I can go a little bit beyond that. Um, but um, other than that I do have an announcement to make. I'll probably make one tomorrow. It concerns the future of the channel and the direction I want to take it and it does involve more streaming because I do like the aspect of streaming honestly. The, the streaming 
I, I, I'm, I'm very, I'm tempted. What I'm thinking of doing is going more towards a the let's plays and the achievement runs and all that sort of stuff. I'm very tempted to do this all on stream because I get to have the interaction with you guys, and it's way better for me to interact with you, and it just makes the playthrough a lot more enjoyable. Um, I'm just gonna let this barbarian take this stuff. Um, it just makes it. It, it makes it more enjoyable and we can actually like do it together and you can give me a hand and stuff and it makes it more interactive and it's much better and of course multiplayer michael don't worry yes multiplayer will be coming <laughs> of course more multiplayer will be there and um it just makes it all all more fun so most of the most of the um kind of the content or the gameplay i would like rather say um i'm definitely going to be turning towards streaming on youtube not on twitch i don't like twitch i'm not a big fan of twitch i prefer youtube by a country mile i bring you guys over here we'll bring you there actually i'll pick you up afterwards i prefer youtube by a country mile and um, twitch i'm not a massive fan of and um then what it would allow me to do on the channel would be to make more edited content like more guides more tutorials more dev diaries reactions more um, role play series as well because role play series take a heavy time um, kind of editing and scripting because i've got to write the whole thing then i've got to kind of see what i need to do cut edit and all that sort of stuff so it does take quite a while um let's get some more stability here we'll get the stability up as high as possible um so I think it's the better direction to take and I've also been taking into account the analytics. So I've been looking at the analytics and what they say and what the analytics think um, and it, it, I think it's just a more natural way to go. I mean the let's play things, I mean I like the super fun and I can like do them on my own and stuff. I'll bring you over after actually. Um, but it's just better with you guys. It honestly is. And I found this out by doing all this on stream with you. It's just these last couple of streams has made me go, well, it's not that complicated to stream on YouTube. So why not do it? And that is definitely the way we are going to be flying. So more edited content on YouTube. Mostly that's what it will be. Um, maybe not once a day because um, I need to get the material kind of script. If I've got a script, then kind of write and all that sort of stuff. Um, so it'll probably be when I can get them out. So it'll be less daily stuff on YouTube, but there'll be more streams. I'm thinking about going Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturday, Sunday for streaming, especially the weekends because pretty much everyone's available on the weekend. And then, of course, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, then it gives me like a break of a day between these between the streams, which is pretty useful. Um, but anyway, let's take these guys out now. Um, I can do the war. The Bunya won't join, but I don't really care now. We're just going to eat these guys up. I'm going to gain 10 tyranny, but we don't care. We're at 100 tyranny, guys. <laughs> like, 100 max tyranny. Um, again, honestly, tyranny, I'm not, it's like, that worried about it, really. The threshold for Civil War goes down, the loyalty characters do, but... I mean, if you can keep them in check, then there's no reason why you can't. And you do have a potential event that fires that allows you to, like, become a dictator and get dictatorship going. It is possible. I've seen it done. I've seen it happen. Um, so let's go and take this all out. We'll quickly go and get you. I don't want to kind of ransack everything. I might actually do a simultaneous war over here, to be honest. Yeah, I am. You know what? Once these guys are off, I'm going to go and pick up the mercs and we'll do the simultaneous war on the other side. I think that would be wise. So let's go pick you fellas up. Off we go. And we'll go and declare war on these fellas. They've got no forts here, by the way, so it's going to be pretty easy to take. And I'm honestly not worried. I'll just take the provincial capitals. I don't want to ransack too much. Um, we don't have that much slave efficiency, which I'm pretty good because I want to keep as many pots as possible. Um, again, let the looting be gentle. I don't want to kill too many. I want to keep as many as I can here so I can actually move the slaves around. Uh, what about doing things that are not an objective, but mainly things from history, like sending the Saxons to Britain early? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'm definitely going to be... I mean, when it comes to Imperial Rome stuff, um, I'll definitely be doing custom challenges quite a bit, and I'll hopefully I'll get a few custom challenges. A lot of the one I've got going, the Mega City Challenge, they're pretty kind of st not that hard for me to really do um and i can actually like do them at a rate would allow me to get them out once per day which would be pretty neat i could definitely do like something like that but yeah it like doing um kind of things that are not objectives but yeah things from history I, I could do it like yeah definitely saxons coming like to britain early and stuff all, all definitely do what do you want whale fat candles yeah, I'll take the whale fat candles. Why not? Might as well take it. And this game would just like that forming Galatia. Yeah, I'll just... Um, I think the, the next challenge I want to do is like mega migration. That is something that I really want to do. Kind of get the ops like... Kind of form... What I'd like to do is form Germania Magna. Because... Um, actually, no. I'll probably do that as an achievement on its own. Or 
Maybe this one, no. Maybe what I'll do is I'll form Germania Magnia and then create a massive migratory horde and just migrate to the end of the world. Or something like that. That would be something cool. With the Bloodline mods, of course, Michael. Don't worry, I won't forget the Bloodline mod. Um, so where are we going now? I need to go down here. I need to take this pretty quickly. Um, nobody owns that, so that's fine. Oh it's, oh, it's all occupied. There we go. So we're done. So that was fairly quick. I can actually take all this now. Fantastic. Okay, we've got the land that we need. Put them in a new holy site. Yep, Mike, I'm definitely going to do that. First, let's just um, peace out for all this. Thank you very much. Um, I am going to integrate them. Again, they are the love our culture. So, or not our culture, but they love our uh, religion. So it's just pretty kind of sensical to kind of integrate them. And now the mercs will get over here. We're going to go and deal with the other ones over this side now. Um, let's go and put the... <laughs> I feel so loved and acknowledged, Senpai. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Michael. Um, now, let's go... In here, I need to place the whale fat candles, don't I? No? Do I own any holy site? Oh, I don't own any holy sites, do I? So I might have to make one. I suppose I could, you know. If I'm just going to stop by the gold, I'll make a holy site. And I'll make one in Masali. I'll make one to the god Tyrannus of War. That hasn't... Oh, wait, I've already got one. You kidding me? I didn't think it had one before. Oh, well. Um... Let's see, would I be able to like kind of swap any of you out for something decent? <laughs> no problem, mate. I've got so many campaigns going, yeah. Oh, Athena, that's the one we want. There's no holy site in Athena. Oh, I do want that. Actually, no, because it's the wrong, innit? So it's um, Hellenic, so no. No, 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 no. I was thinking of heresy then. Uh, this one, aggressive expansion reduction, is quite nice. And the monthly war exhaustion change as well. Uh, but then we've got this one. But again, the holy site's pretty much all down. Which is a pain. Noden's isn't. I might be able to get that one. I'll think about it. We'll see where I can actually, which one I'll go for and where I can move it. Uh, but now we've got Caledonia. We need to integrate the pops now. Um, definitely. I'm just going to bring in the Caledonian pops. Um, if you put it in Massalia, how are you going to deify yourself and be worshipped in that mega city? Good question. How can I actually... When I deify myself... Oh, you know, no, you know what? I'll deify myself. This is right. Good point, Michael. I'll deify the ruler, okay? We'll get the, what I need to do this. I need popularity, though, and some other things. But once we deify a ruler, it creates a whole new god, which means you have another holy site that you need to, so it would be like kind of a deity, but without a holy site. And then you actually have to build your own holy site, which is pretty, pretty clever. I think we'll do it that way. That seems to be the best thing to do. Um, let's get a quick governor in Caledonia. I want the best possible man. Um, someone who's pretty decent for happiness. State religion happiness, that's fine. We've got state religion there, so that's pretty good. We'll have you. I mean, that's more than fine. So on you go, dude. And now what we need to do is integrate these guys. And hopefully it ain't going to take too long. Um, which ones are they? Caledonian. These are the ones that we need. Yeah, we need the Caledonian pop. So I'm going to give you right of inheritance. I'll give you some of that. I'm also going to give them the right to enter legal contracts. Because it just increases culture integration speed. Okay. So now that is done. What we'll do is we'll integrate the Caledonians. Just want to make sure I've not got it wrong. Yeah, I've got it right. So we'll integrate these now. Put them as citizens. It should speed up quite quickly now. We've got an extra 20% on that. So. And you can copy the stats your favourite god. Yep, you can. So thanks for pointing that out. I honestly completely forgot about that. So you're going to stay here for the time being. Uh, we'll get you over here. We're going to deal with the other dude on the other side. And we'll go and finish that off. We've got some more goods, of course. We'll take all this. Thank you. A load of trade offers, which is just what I like. By the way, these barbs, I'm going to have to deal with them. They're stuck on here, and they're being a light pain. So let's hire you guys. We'll send you to deal with these pretty quickly. Don't want them kind of roaming, running amok and taking our stuff. And by the way, I can make some claims. And um, what do you guys reckon? Do I go for Gaul first, or do I go for the UK? What do you think? I honestly don't know which one I want to go for. Maybe maybe Gaul, I think. But I'm going to need claims. So, do I have claims on this dude? I have claims on Nitabridgia. These are all friends with these guys. I don't have claim on you, do I? No, I don't. Gaul, yep, yeah, I agree. I think Gaul is the best option. Um, so, we're going to make some claims. We'll fabricate a claim on this. We'll also fabricate a claim on... Do I have a claim on you? No, I don't, but we will fabricate a claim. <laughs> Anarchy in the UK. Or I can just do both. I can alternate between wars. 
It is, it is possible. I mean, why not? Britannia, you can already squeeze the north and south. True, I could already squeeze the north and south. I could. Um, Rome don't seem to be expanding towards over here, so I might actually be able to take over... Or, the thing is, that if we go for Britannia first, it's quite far away to control. Or at least to the west, so you can unite with your with the southern UK you have now. Yeah. You know what? I, I think we're going to actually... We'll march up north. We'll eat, all the, we'll eat all the Gaelic states, and we'll just kind of mop up, make our big Massalian blob, and then I'll just kind of get the rest in the UK. The UK's not going to be much of a problem. I'm more worried of a big federated Gaelic tribe arriving, which is a bit of a pain. Um, and more about Rome changing direction all of a sudden. So if I can mop it up before, then that's fine. Rome never really get to the UK anyway, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, what can I go for here? Probably go for some spices. It's pretty damn expensive. It's a good resource to have. So yeah, we'll get some spices. Local citizen happiness. Why not? Um, our tech ratio is really slow. We're going to have to deal with that as well. Um, I'm going to have to try and get a lot of gold at some point and definitely get for a load of cities. We need to get the tech up. All that sort of stuff is vital. Um... How are these guys doing? What, what's the policies over here? I don't want them assimilating. Nope, that's fine. We've got the right policy. Um, prominent Caledonian family demands recognition. Yeah, I might accept this. Oh, they've become a new prominent family? Yeah, no, I'm not going to take this. I'm in no rush. Yep, yeah, I don't want a Caledonian family coming in. The tiny, they're not that important. So I don't really need to bother with that. What we can do now, though, is disband our levies. Because I don't need them there anymore. I'm just going to get war exhaustion with them being maintained or kind of stanced up. Now you guys are going to go and deal with these fellas over here pretty quickly. We'll go and just declare war for this. Uh, rising from obscurity. So we can bring a new family in. And I don't really know who you want to bring in here. Epimenes, you're loyalish. You're not loyal. So it's going to be this guy because you're just loyal. So we'll bring in this dude. Which is better. I wouldn't worry about Rome at this point. You managed to stop their growth quite effectively. We'll get them to fight for you at the beginning and keeping them from uniting. Yeah, I think I did. That's what really slowed them down. So that was probably that was a wise thing to do. It slowed them down pretty nicely. I, I do agree with you on that, Mike. So what we got here, we need you to give you a position. And um, what about our researchers? Do I have... Like, you're bad. I don't really have any decent guys. Um... And they've all got positions, so I might actually split up my... Actually, I'll get rid of you, to be honest. I don't need that Navy Commander. And I can just give it to someone who... Like you, for example. I mean, really? Um, what are you? You're not a pretender. You've got a scorned family, but... But you're not Druidic, though. That's a bit of a problem. I mean, I don't plan on fighting full-on naval combat, so... Oh, look, he's the only one. Well, looks like it's going to be you. It's fine. But now we have a disloyal dude, and this guy is insanely disloyal. Um, okay. That's not cool. A revoke free hands, he's plotting, he's selfish, low faction approval, tyranny, power base in country. What's your power base? Hmm. That's a bit of a pain. Are you corrupt? You're not that corrupt. He's old, I'm hoping he's going to die. I can bribe him. Still won't be enough. Anyone else peed off with me? Not really. I don't know why this guy has so much of the power base. That is something that's really worrying. I might have to... Revoke some holdings at some point. I might have to do that. We'll quickly finish this war off here. They're not going to be much of a problem, these guys. Because I've got a claim on them. And then we'll go and check it out. When did uh, they remove the execute option when someone... Yeah, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Maybe I need them to be imprisoned. Can I prescribe them? I can't imprison. And you're not the head of a family. So, he's just the party leader, this guy. That's the one that's really bothering us. He's just the damn party leader. Uh, we'll deal with him in a minute. I, I just want to get this pretty quickly first. Just like, so we don't have to deal with anything else. So we'll just quickly take you on. There we go. And then we've got the land needed for the achievement. All we need to do now is basically colonize this place over here. I'm hoping by integrating... Where are they? Why, why haven't I seen them? Oh, they're all the way down here. Yeah, they're nearly halfway already, so that's not much of a problem. We've got you. These guys are going to be dead pretty quickly. Um, 
And there we go. He should be finished. Yeah, they've got no tech as well, so... Yeah, no threat at all whatsoever. We'll just take this fort down. I'll leave my navy here. Actually, I'm not going to leave my navy here because we're getting attrition, which means we're going to go all the way... I've got a dock. Let's go back down here. I don't need to kind of wait up there for the moment. Now, how are we going to deal with this potential civil war again? Is it going to be one of them anticlimactic ones where the nobody pretty much revolts? I mean, let's go for the stability. It will increase the threshold for civil war. Not that it's going to bother too much. Yeah, it's the tyranny that really hurts us here. When's the next election? Yeah, they need to be in prison first. You're right, they do. That is not good. And there's still not really much of a way I can do anything here. Um, what do you want? They want an extra integration post? Yeah, we'll do that. Just speed it up. I want to get these guys in as quickly as possible. Um, you do have guys lending your... Water. I, yeah, but this... I mean, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of your holdings, dude. Oh my god, that's why. Okay, yep, yeah, we're getting rid of all your holdings. This... Oh no, bugger. I rewarded veterans. That was awful. That was the wrong button. I accidentally clicked on that. Um, my bad. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna look how many holdings he's got. That's why. This guy's got control over literally every single goddamn holding in the freaking realm. No wonder. So, I'm just gonna revoke everything off this guy. We can't have him... We can't have him having all this power, can we? At least then, it means that... I think the revolt is gonna be tiny. So now this is done. So that's all finished. So who else is peed off? So we've got you who are peed off with me, but I can bribe you, so you're no longer going to be disloyal. I might even have to give you three hands at some point, but if I have to do it, I will. Let's check. Let's go, let's go. I want to make sure that we're getting this correctly again. I don't want to be screwed over by a goddamn rebellion, so you've got part of leader with the power base. The rest are loyal. Um, this guy is a little bit of a, a loose cannon. I don't really know if that's going to kind of help. The rest are loyal. There's only one guy. And honestly, I don't think there's going to be much that's going to rebel. If it does, I will hire Merch. But the problem is now, I completely forgot that I've already hired Merch. But um, I spent all my gold by accident by rewarding veterans, which was a goddamn awful choice. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, yeah, you're going to gain loyalty. I don't want to lose loyalty with you. I want to increase it. So you're doing a fine job. I'm not bothered about the kind of discipline, really. I have more than enough. So I think we're fine on that front. Just this here. Just that that one guy. I think it's just because he's a party head. Um, actually, I'll just get rid of you. I'll probably just disband the other levy here. I'll disband you quickly. No, it's not you. Where's the other one? Where's he gone? Oh, it's this dude. Oh, no. I can't disband while I'm at war. Of course. Why did I think I could disband? I'm at war. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way I'm going to be able to disband. Oh, well. What are we at here now? We're at 14%. As soon as this falls, we're going to win this war. And it's going to probably be next month, I would guess. Um, have these guys been integrated yet? Yes, they have. So we've got Caledonia integrated. So now what we're going to want to do is change some of the policies. So we're going to want to have pop promotion. Because we're going to want to... Don't want to yeah, no, I actually want to have social mobility. Because what we need to do now is get rid of these tribals and turn them into slaves so I can actually move them all the way over here and start colonizing this land, um, which is what I want to do. Now, the good thing down here, there's quite a few of them, and hopefully this means that these are going to demote pretty quickly, um, hopefully to a certain amount of slaves, which I think is what we're going to need. Um, however, what do we need here? So here I can colonize if I... I need a few places that need pop. So there's one there, one there. going to need to move a few. Caledoni, which is here. I can actually move a few in there, to be honest, first to colonize that. But I'm actually going to move them all. I'm actually going to follow them all the way up here first. Yeah, we'll move. We'll funnel them. Okay, moving the last pot from the territory. Where's that one? Dictus. I suppose I could. Yeah, I think I can actually move them all. What I'll probably do, I mean, I'll leave it to be... Don't want to leave it to be colonized or uncolonized or whatever. What about you? Can I move this one to Caledonia here? What's this one? This one is... Vokamagi. Yeah, I can move you there, and then I can move... One more from here. That's four, that's five. 
Yeah, we're going to need to demote more tribals. And hopefully what will happen is that this will demote pretty quickly. Um, I might actually integrate these guys as well. I might eat these and integrate them. Because they've got seven pops in there. I could use them. And I think that might be the best way to do it as well. I'm definitely going to get a claim on these guys pretty quickly. If I have to integrate them, I will. I'll conquer them, integrate them, and of course we'll move pops. And I can actually colonize with integrated pops. So I think that's the way we're going to do it. I can't think of another solution, to be honest. And um, what we got here? This is fine. Going to deal with you pretty quickly. And then we're going to try and figure out where the rebellion is going to fire. I honestly have no idea where it is going to land. So... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be guessing. I, I think I should be able to deal with it. I've got the navy. I don't think there's too many people that have peed off with me. I mean, we've got this guy here. But, I mean... You've got like a small power base because you're a researcher. And I might actually get rid of him. It's you here. And he's a pan tortured. And I can just get rid of you with someone else. And put a more loyal guy. Like this guy, for example. And then now you've got no power base. It's just this dude here. He's got... Holdings. Head of family. Got a holding again? No, you haven't, dude. You've got no holdings now. And the part of leader. So I don't think there's going to be many people joining the rebellion. I mean, if there is, I'll be incredibly surprised. Uh, but anyway, this has now been done. Which is fantastic. So we can now have this. And we have our base of operations over on this side. Which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm just going to gain some popularity here. I'm not bothered. Actually, just banish them. Get the aggressive expansion done. Uh, but anyway, let's go and pick a mercs up. I'm going to go and pick these guys from over here. And then we'll bring them back to our capital. Because I don't know. Again, I want to bring them down there in case the rebellion happens. Um, who do we send? You're disloyal. I'm going to send Glorkias. Get you away for the Olympics. Off you go. Here we're going to need a governor. I'm going to play someone loyal. Very loyal to me. Um, I'll try and place a major family member like you, for example. You're incredibly loyal. Yeah, you're really, really loyal. Um, but you are a Democrat, which does worry me a little bit. Actually, we've got like full approval with the Democrats, so... I might actually place him. I think he's going to do a good job. Yeah, he's fine. He, he He's fine. He's he's more than good. And that works pretty well for us there. Anyway, let's have a look now. See if we've got the actual requirements for the first part. And I do want to find that out. So let's go all the way down. Let's see what we can do. And we do. So we need one more thing. And we have... We have 60 years to do it. I think we're going to be fine. Uh, I mean, 60 years should be more than enough. Really, it should be. I, I can't think of why it would not be enough. So how fast is the demotion going down here then? Aha, I've already got one demoted. It's going actually really quickly. So you're demoting to what? To a noble, to a citizen, but that's fine. Um, if you pop in for we'll move one here. Move that from Caledoni. I think we're pretty close to being able I need to actually close. I need how many do I need to colonize? Ten? It's eight pops. Okay. That's not that much actually. Really, that is actually not that much at all. Um, I still got some PI, so I might as well get some more claims going. Can I get a claim on you? I can't. I might actually take in Helvia at some point as well. Um, I'm probably going to want to. I would like to take this. Do I have a claim on this? I do. I would like to just take this section here because it's just like easily fortifiable. Maybe not go further beyond that. It is like Transalpine Gaul, and I'm not really bothered about Cisalpine Gaul, sorry. So just for what I need here. Um, let's get some more claims. Pictonia, we'll get it on the side here. We'll go for over this side. We'll just make a load of claims all in Gaul. So at least they're done and dusted. And then it's not really going to cost us too much in terms of, like, aggressive expansion. Because when you have your... When you, when you make claims, your aggressive expansion of the war score cost is reduced considerably. So it is well worth getting as many claims as you can. Uh, you learn so much what Well, I hope, I hope you do. I hope it helps anybody who needs a bit of help with the game. And if you learn something while watching, watching me play, then... It's well worth it. I'm happy. It makes me happy that it helps you guys out and stuff. And really, if there's any questions, no matter the stream, whatever, just ask and I'll always answer. Even if that's not on stream, just send me like a message in the video comments and just say, well, what's this? How do I do this? And I'll, I'll always try to answer. Anyway, let's bring you guys back really quickly. Um, how long have we got now? Seven months left for Civil War. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? These mercs, I'm going to keep them on this side. In case something blows up in the UK. Um, you didn't win the Olympics, we know, but oh well, it's not much of a problem. Still, no one else is really peed off with me. The others don't have any power base, so I don't think there's going to be much like revolt going on. 
In terms of loyalty, now that is something that can... Comments loyalty is something we're going to need to check. Um, you know what? I'm going to enable automatic trading for the provinces, by the way. I keep forgetting to do that. And I do want to enable automatic trading. So, let's go this, 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 this. All automatic trading. It just saves me doing it because I'm just lazy. <laughs> Pure lazy and I can't be bothered. Apart from my own like, area, my own region, I would like to do the kind of stuff myself. Um, is this Transalpine Gold down here? No, that's Telekinesis. But they'll do it on their own. They'll get it all done for us. I would have never considered the colony of Britain um, is have moved the whole nation. <laughs> I could <laughs> move everything from Massalia all the way to England at some point. That would be fun to do. Um, good question. I, I think it does. Um, for what I, I, th I think it does. It, it should do. It takes a little bit of time to get going, but once it actually gets going, it should work. That's what that's that from from what I gather anyway. So how long we got left? Five months until the Civil War fires. Which is nowhere near good. I've got another slave here, so I'm going to move this over here. So what's this place? Back to Margi. Where's that again? There we go. Um, here I've got, here I've got another pop. No. I have got a few here, though, that I can move to Corn Navi. So I'll move pop from there to Corn Navi. Actually, I'll slow stop the game for the moment. Um, Alaverni. Is this place? Yeah, it's that one. Then from you, then I can actually move these into here, you see, afterwards. I'll move pop there, it's from Caledoni. And they're going to need to move one more from Corn Abbey there, maybe. And where's the other one? i move it from here. No, I don't want to leave it colonizable, and there I can. Okay, so that's done. So here I've now got nine pops, but I need one pop that is not a slave, I think. Or maybe at the end of the month. So, maybe one needs to... I think I need a Freeman. Hey, hey, Dine. How you going, bud? Thanks for joining. Hope everything's well. Hope you're good. And thank you for kind of joining us back on the live stream for Pythias' Legacy. It's going pretty well, to be honest, at the moment. We have a potential civil war firing, though, bud. So uh, that is something that is going to have to... We're going to have to kind of keep an eye on. Um, let's go for the citizen output again. We might as well. Um, I think I need a Freeman in order to move over here. Well, I think I do. It has to have a, like, non-slave pop. So we'll wait till we promote a Freeman. It shouldn't take too long. I gather that's what it is. We've got two months, by the way. We're going to raise our levies here just in case. We're going to raise the whole goddamn levy in Massilia here. I'm also going to raise, by the way, let's check if everyone's loyal. Everyone is loyal towards me. We don't have anybody not kind of willing to fight or willing to kill me. Um, let's raise maybe the Legion in Tarakinesis or the Legion, the troops in Tarakinesis. Um, I've seen auto trade works in my provinces, but not very often. Yes, the same here. I, I never see them work um, all the time. It's like, when you leave it a little bit, it does end up working, but you have to, like, kind of let it go for a while. I've got one month, by the way. Who's beat off with me here? Just this guy. What's your power base again? I honestly don't know how this is going to work. I hope we're not going to have too much of a problem. I mean, I pray to the gods that we're not going to have... Okay, what happened? Where's the civil war? Well, where's the civil war? <laughs> oh no, wonder I couldn't find it. Okay, well, um, yeah, I, I was, I was scared. I bet you were, weren't you? <laughs> okay, yeah. Now I know. Uh, I can actually kind of um, adequately tell you how civil war, civil wars work now, and I will do a video on this for helping people because I know people get do get scared by civil wars, but. For those who want to know, and I'm just going to quickly kind of add a little bit of a tutorial session in here. Um, but yeah, it, it's the power base that determines it. And if you reduce the amount of people with the power base, then you don't have any problems with revolting. The the thing that conditions the revolt, from what I gather here now, it seems to be that the holdings determines which territories revolt. So holdings in a territory that belong to someone that's disloyal revolt. 
Uh, you have the amount of veterans as well conditions it, but honestly, if you kind of get everyone you need to get loyal or reduce their power base, the disloyal guys aren't going to pose any threat. And this is twice this has happened, and this is twice that I am really not worried, so fantastic. And we can actually kill the guy by doing this as well. Um, oh yeah, let's get the chainmail as well. Demo Damas is back. Thank you, we'll have the Hibernian chainmail. Why not? The AI seem stuck at considering values. They do. Okay, so now we can colonize this. Aha, look at this. This is good. So now that is done. We're one off, people. One off. And then we can do... We can, we'll actually manage to do this quite a... Before everyone else. And I think this is going to... Yeah, this is going to be easy. We can do this now. We can do this now. I just need a little bit more gold. But when we do get it, I'll move them. So I'm going to disband you guys now because I don't need them. Um, I don't think I do now. I don't need them. Off you go. They're not needed. They're just costing me a little bit of gold, so... Um, well, this guy's got no... Actually, I've got no marshal on this guy, so... I'm actually going to go and siege this down quickly. Do I want Freeman or gold? Now I'm going to go for the gold. Why do I want the gold here? Well, because it is fairly easy now to move the last people over here. Um, so a few pops, move here, and we'll go one, two, three. Are you guys ready? This is it. And we've done it with 59 years to spare. That's not bad. Honestly, that's pretty damn cool. So, let's get it done. Boom. And hopefully now, if I go to the achievements, we should have got Pythias' legacy. Where is it? Yep, it's going to fire as soon as we get off this. It's going to fire. Well, I need to advance a little bit. Maybe now. There we go. It fired on the bottom right-hand side of my screen. Pythias' legacy. You guys probably can't see it, uh, but it has fired. And, of course, uh, where is it? We'll see it here. I'm absolutely really chuffed that I managed to get this, because this one I've tried it twice, and each time it's been a thorn on my side. Um, but I do want to thank you all for helping me get this, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have done it exactly the same way. Um, now, my original plan was to go all like kind of serpent my way up north, like kind of go all the way straight up, get to the coast, conquer this, and then go this. But Mike, and this is big heads up for Mike here, because he's the one who suggested this, and I'm awesomely glad that he did, because it saved us a lot of time. Um, it was to kind of snake along the Pyrenees here, get to the coast, take something over here, take something in England, take something in Norway, and take this. So thank you very much, guys. I mean, I would not have done it the same way, and you've definitely saved me a load of time and a load of stress and a load of pressure, um, and it's just made it a hell of a lot easier. So thank you very much. Um, by the way, we're under attack here. That's not cool. Can I run out of the way? No, I can't. Uh, what we got? He's got Arch. He's got Cav, and he's going to put the... He's going to put the light troops first, so what I'm going to do is... We're going to put our archers on the first line. I'm going to put the... Light infantry second, and the cavalry flank. So it doesn't really change too much, but... I'm probably going to lose it. Actually, are we? Yeah, we're going to lose that fight. Oh well. Doesn't matter. It's just to stop him from taking the land. I didn't want him taking any land around. But yeah, I'm really chuffed. Now we've got that, so now we can actually continue a little bit. And um, maybe try to... Yeah, I'm just going to try and see... See what I can go for. I, I, I honestly don't know. And we're victorious already? Well, that was quick. I'll kill them all. I mean... Do I kill them all? Or do I let them live? I mean, there's only one guy rebelling, so... I suppose I could. I'd gain manpower back, to be honest. I'd gain tentability either way. But... How much was my manpower? I'm near my maximum. Um, I don't want the integrated culture... I don't want the integrated culture having us minus 8% for 60 months, because I have a lot of integrated cultures, which is a pain. Um, so I'm actually going to do this one. Now, what I'm going to do quickly is... Before I actually do this, let's go for the stab... What we're going to want is now we need to reorganize and get rid of the integrated cultures that we've integrated for no reason. So basically the Caledonian here, we can get rid of these guys. I no longer need them. So I'm going to pop you down back to Freeman. There we go. So that gets rid of them dudes. And these I'm going to keep for the moment. I don't really need to swap them off. Um, but yeah, I'm really chuffed. So now I'm going to take on Gaul. It's, it's time we did. Um, I've got no... But it was no aggressive expansion. So, I mean, why not just deal with them? <laughs> I mean... Or can I do... Oh, I can do maritime patrols, though. What's this? 
Yeah, let's get it. Let's do that. So, um, our spawning maritime network requires a nuclear spawning navy capable of defending our merchants from raiders, reavers, and rivals. Now we must decide whether to specialize our squadrons for speed or survivability. Damage taken or speed. Let's go for ship speed. Naval speed's pretty nice. Um, I've got another civil war? What? I've only just dealt with one, so how the hell do we have another one happening? I don't understand this. That's got to be a bug. I've got no one's disloyal. Yeah, it'll probably change at the end of the month. At the end of the month, it will go away. And by the way, I can actually disband, disband my troops now. That I no longer need them. And um, let's see. Get a navy. Going to bring you guys all the way back down to Bordeaux. Need to get you down there. We'll keep you there. Then we'll try and take on a load of different people, I think, now. So what can I, What can I do here? Pillars of Heracles, which is all the way down here, but there's no way I'm getting down there just yet. Uh, back to the land. An allied tribal country of the Gaelic culture group hasn't these day territories. Yeah, I don't really need that. Well, bearing bartering, I could do. Now, trade, wow, trading block. That is, um... That's pretty tricky, but I could potentially do it. It's very tempting. Very tempting, but now nah, we'll leave it. I've got a lot of war exhaustion, though, by the way. I need to get that down. Um, there's got to be a way I can get it down. Let's um, invoke... Yeah, you know what? Invoke the Rose Show. I'm at maximum tyranny, so I don't care. Might as well. I mean, my tyranny is incredibly high. Who gives a damn if it's that high? To be honest. I imagine this is some type of proto-Portugal Empire grand campaign. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, Cody? I know. <laughs> Thanks for joining. You know me, always grand campaigns on my mind. Yep, I do know. <laughs> Now this is, uh, we've actually just got the achievement, Pythias' Legacy, which is fantastic. It's been a massive thorn in my side, and it's been a huge thorn for a long time. And I've tried it, now this is, I think this is the third time I've tried it, and I've actually got it, which is great. Uh, but anyway, we got some tech, so what do I want to go for here? I mean, now it doesn't really matter what I go for. Um, Diplo Rep could be nice. I mean, none of this stuff is really needed now. What I would need, though, is gold, I think. Or probably... What do I need? This game is a thorn in my side, but I love it. Yeah, I, I know, I love it as well. It is like... Oh, it's 71% research efficiency now. I might go for... Hmm. Integrated culture happiness. Let's go for that. It helps. It always helps. You never know what you might need. Yeah, the game is awesome. Oh, Legion! Oh, god damn it, Mike! Oh god, why do, why do I find out as soon as I, <laughs> I take the thing and then someone gives me the good info and I go, ah, oh, crap. Um, yeah, if if I had any skill at modding as well, Michael, I'd be modding crazy crap out of this. But I have no modding skills at all. I wouldn't even know where to start. I don't know how to do it. It's just like, yeah, I have no idea. It's gonna turn into the Basilisk achievement grind for the U4 <laughs> for me all over again. And now with Imperator, so many flashy achievements. <laughs> Now, what do we do? I think we go to war. I've got no aggressive expansion. I might as well eat some things up. What, what's the culture group down here? Santonian. What I am going to want, though, is... Now we're making a lot of gold per month. Like, literally. What we need to do now is get cities going. We need to civilize. Um, so, we need to get a load of cities founded. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with a basis of... Now, this will probably give me a good opportunity to show you guys how to civilize as a kind of full these tribal and non-civilized nation um, because um, it is quite tricky to do but there is a decent way and it always works for me and um, I do tend to start off by building one city per province um, so for example um, let's say um, let's go over here all the way to Bordeaux down here for example I was to build my city on the marshes of Bordeaux here what I'll do is I would then only have one there I'll bang on then the centralized policy pop the centralized pop policy which means that I'll pull all of the different slaves and tribes or freemen that are left and I'll just bang them all in there and then what I'll do is just build a load of stuff to get like extra lives, academies and all that sort of stuff. So I'm definitely going to try and civilize. We'll do that together. Now, I'm not going to spend any... Do I, How many claims do I have? I only have claims on these dudes. Um, do I have a claim on this guy? I already have claims. Actually, I already have claims on you. Yeah, I've already got a couple of claims. Um, I don't really need more there. Uh, what about Santonia? Who are you allied with? Yeah, I can eat all these guys up pretty damn quickly. I'm making a claim on you. 
Do I have a claim on Ossismia? No, I don't. So, you know what? I'm going to make claims first. I don't want to take all this pretty damn quickly. I don't think I'm scheming as well. No, I'm not scheming. We need to scheme. We need to scheme. Um, there are two small Aquitanian countries left. Yeah, they're down here, aren't they, I think? Yeah, we'll take them, definitely. Um, by the way, we do need to probably... I mean, religion's fine now. I need culture, so I also need to get grand theatres and stuff. There's so much I need to do here. But now, to get all this done, we need gold. So it's going to be like massive conquest time. Let's roll. Let's see how... I mean, we've, we've, gone, we've done quite a bit in, what, 40-odd years. So, I mean, why not? We're called to have the Pontic Vespers. What's the Pontic Vespers? What are Pontic Vespers? No idea. I have no idea what they are. Uh, anyway, let's raise our men. Let's go. Uh, so we'll get the... Oh, I can't. Yeah, I've got to wait a little bit. But we have a pretty decent sized levy here. And I'll raise all the others as well. We'll just bring all these in. Do I have a claim on you? I don't. But you're allied with... You're allied with this guy. And I have a claim on you. So I can declare war on you. Take these. Separate piece. Eat the rest. Yep, yeah, we can do that. That's fine. That's the plan. That's my idea. All master advancers. Okay, yep, so we're going to World Legion then, Mike. Um, you're right. All oh, provincial loyalty is nice. Ooh. Ooh, I do want that. I, I do want that. You know what? I, I'm going to just quick... I'm going to sneakily quickly take that. You've not noticed this. Close your eyes. No one's seen it. There we go. Bim, bam, boom. Um, you forgot about... That's nothing happened there. Keep your eyes away. And then we're going to go down to cohorts. We'll get four legions next. That's the best thing. So we'll do that. Nobody saw what i just taken. So forget about it. Right, what we got? Still can't raise them. Ah, I can now, though. So off we go. <laughs> That's what we'll get. Pontic Vespers were the first, were the first genocide in history. Really? Mithridates convinced a bunch of Roman provinces to the east to massacre their own pop. Ah. Thank you for the info. Didn't know that. And we'll send you over here. Let's get the rest of the levies up. Um, and I'll pull this one here. Do I have any more I can raise? I don't really need any more. That's fine. We have more than enough. I might raise a Merc stack. Do I raise a Merc stack? I don't know. I don't really need this anymore, this fort. Let's get rid of this fort. I don't need it. That can go. Indiketia there. And I toss Titania. I don't need to take them just yet, but I'll just get rid of that fort there. I don't need it. These I'm just going to keep on this side. I can probably get rid of a few forts in Britannia now. No one's going to really declare war on me. Uh, yeah, no one's going to declare war on us over here. So... Gonna get rid of this one there. I, I don't need that fort there as well. It, it can go. Bye bye, dude. Adios. Adios, amigos. If you go. So now I've got a little bit of extra gold. I don't think these guys are gonna. Oh, he actually raised his men? Oh, he's got a revolt. Oh, yeah, he's got a small revolt. Oh, well, we'll let him finish his revolt off. That's fine. Can I raise a small unit of men? I might be able to raise. I mean, I'd like to get one with a supply train. Although I need to. I probably don't need to, to be honest. Yeah, I don't need to. So what do I have? I've got 2k stack there. If you want to trade, that's fine. Be my guest. I feel like the next big thing is to connect all your land. Yep, it is. We need to connect it all. Um, I'll just share with the rest of us. I'm already tyrannical, so... Yeah, I'm already a tyrannical. Screw it. We'll get the gold. If I declare war on this guy, there's no way he's going to win. I, I I, am tempted, though. Dan, if you don't know if you're doing Macadon roleplay, there's also the Shepherded Empire. Attempt Phoenician or Babylon. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I, I do... In, I, I, honestly, I do like the idea of the Macadon one, to be honest. It does sound super fun to do. Uh, but first, I've got to finish the Roman one. Um, by the way, there won't be any Roman episode tonight. I haven't had a chance to do it. Um, but I'll let you guys... Well, I've said before the video that... Um, how to put it that I've got some update on the future of the channel and the direction I was going. I'm going to release a video on it tomorrow, so um, just kind of get you my thoughts on what I'm doing next. And I've thought about it quite a bit, and I think it's the right thing to do. Um, I'm going to have to wait for this guy to finish, aren't I? God, I'm going to have to wait for this dude to finish. That's a pain. Um, oh, we've got another guy now. Hypervisor is partied. I um, actually got some tech I completely forgot. So let's go. Military artisans. We'll go down to the military side of things. So now we've got some extra extra province investment. I'm definitely going to bang this over here. Do I need food? No, I don't think I need another trade route. Yeah, I've got more than enough food in this damn place. So what I'm going to do is probably... Go for the building slot. 
yeah, I want the I want the extra building slot. So why the extra building slot? Because it's going to allow me to get another aqueduct to fill my kind of pops up or get more pot capacity, which will be nice. Um, let's place this guy. Aha, we'll place you because you're really good. And I want the increased um, civilization change. But of course, the land that we have, if I show you the civilization map mode quickly. I mean, if I can actually find it, where is it? Civilization, there we go. You can see this is all really, really bad. And uh, we want to get it all nice and green so we can get our pops that are civilized to a nice culture. And that is what we need to have. Um, so we're going to try and get all this civilized as quickly as possible. Alright, let's get this off quickly. I just need to wait for this guy to finish his war and then I'll just declare on this guy. I've got a couple of forts here, so I'm not really worried. Um, I'll get you to siege this down. You're going to go siege this down. And then we'll just set for peace and one by one. Oh, provincial loyalty. Yes, please. An influential family. No problem. We'll take that. And I've got change governor policy cost reduction as well, which means we are going to find the youngest governors we can find. And I'm going to change the policies. Um, just because I can. Like over here, for example. How old are you? 64. That's actually really old. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. Your eye buildings and promises were changed or you have some mods. Um... No, I don't have any mods on. I think they must have like changed something in the uh, a little bit anyway. Um, I don't have any mods on at all, so that's like I think that's been changed since the update. I'm pretty sure it has. What's this? Got a cool. He's hired a couple of mercs, by the way. Anyway, actually, I'm going to bring you guys. I'm going to leave you there for the moment. That's fine. I mean, I'm very tempted to hire some mercs, but. Um, I'll get them. Why not? It's an extra 4k stack. Why are they finished? Well, an extra 2k. Why are they finished? I'm just going to go and pick them up. There we go. It's still extra extra units. So it just makes it that we are in less a bit of a... I mean, I don't think we're going to be in a pickle. I think we should be fine. But I just want to make sure I get them all. Um, Thrasty Civil War ends. And by the way, actually, let's um, stop here. Pick you up at the same time. I'm going to wait till he de demobilizes the mercs. I've got a feeling he's going to demobilize them. Yeah, he's demobilized them. So that's wasted his gold, which is good. Which is what I like. We've got the cult sanction for the extra building slot. And now it's time to roll. Yeah, let's do this. Um, oh, I don't have a claim. Oh, no, I don't have a claim on you, of course. Um, it's this guy. So I don't need to bring any friends. Who cares? I'm going to break the alliance with the Bunyu anyway. Um, I'll get rid of them guys. But we're bringing in these guys... He's quite good, so I can eat quite a big chunk, so uh, let's definitely do it. Let's roll. Gain some tyranny, but again, who really cares about tyranny at the moment? And let's deal with you quickly. We're going to go and deal with this guy. Quickly wipe them out. They're not going to last very long. Honestly, it's just going to be incredibly easy to do. Um, let's go and take this down quickly. Then dealt with... You're going to go and... Actually, yeah, you're going to go and seize this down. You're going to go and follow this guy pretty quickly. I want to wipe out his stack there so I can't be attacked from the rear. I've got forts here stopping his movement, so whatever. He can't really do too much. Again, I'm not really bothered. Um, let's go and deal with this guy quickly. Can I catch him? I am. I've caught him. He's dead. So that guy's going to be wiped out fairly quickly. I'm hoping we get a stack wipe on him. I mean, I don't know if we are going to, but please give me a... No, we didn't get a stack wipe, but it doesn't matter. We'll go on here now. We'll take this down. Um, we're going to go and take this quickly. And then we'll just separate piece these guys out and we'll work on each one of them. I want to separate piece them as quickly as possible because um, I don't want them high in mercs. If they're high in mercs, it can be a pain. Six stability for 18 gold? Yes, please. Look how much stab we've got. I might change a law, actually. Um, well, we've got assembly of residence. Ooh, the fabricate cane crossed would be nice. But I don't have the PI. Damn! That's a shame. I don't know. What should I change a law? Let, let me know. What do you guys think? Should I change a law when I get the PI or not? Should I keep stability high and not waste it? Or should I change a law? Let me know what you think. Um, you guys get you on the boat. Pretty quickly. Pirates have plundered us, but I don't care. On we go. Go and dock you fellas here. Oh, he's coming all the way around here, actually. But whatever. There's a fort there and there's a fort there. So we can't really go too far. So it's not really problematic. This is going to be the end of the line for this guy. Law. Change the law. Yeah, I agree. Which one do you reckon I should go for? What do you want? What do you reckon? Do I go for... I mean, I don't need the pot conversion speed. Um, Omen power would be nice. State religion happiness I'm going to keep. I'm thinking... 
The Fabricate Claim Cost. I'm thinking Fabricate Claim Cost, because we've got a load of claims to make. What do you guys reckon? That is what I'm kind of, like, edging towards. Let me know if um, you're thinking on the same wavelength with me. So we'll go down here, we'll finish that off. Who else are we at war with? Just these guys. Indeed, yep. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it looks like it's going to be the reduced claim cost. Oh, lifetime elections. Ooh, can I... Oh, yes. Okay, lifetime elections is going to be a hell of a lot easier to maintain. Lifetime elections. It's got to be that, Annie. I mean, come on. Is, is, should I do lifetime elections? I have to. You know what? I'm going to go and take a quick break. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it sounds really professional of me, I know. Um, but um, I reckon Mike's right. Mike, well done for spotting that because I missed it. And I reckon we're going to go with that. But I'll see you guys in a sec. I need to go to the bathroom. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Now, let's see. Now. Yep, I reckon we go lifetime elections. Let's do it. Lifetime elections is right. Yeah, let's take it. There we go. So, now we don't have the problem with, like, fluctuating loyalties and stuff. And hopefully if we get the Senate, like, kind of approval high, we can actually keep it under control for quite a while. Which would be the best. Now, let's keep going. So, I reckon, how fast can we conquer Gaul? Do you reckon? How fast do you reckon we can do it? Shall we see how fast we can take it all? Let me know what you think. Let me know how fast I can conquer Gaul. It means we're going to have to chain the walls, but I'm more than happily chain them. I'm under attack here. Whatever, you can attack me if you want, dude. Actually, it's coming all the way down here now, which is not cool. This, yep, that's all fantastic. Um, yeah, not shall hide. We'll get the cash. Let's go and deal with him quickly. I don't want him... I don't want him kind of merging his troops together. 30 years, do you reckon? 30 years. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see. Let's see how fast I can do it. Um, what do I want here? Strip his estates. Cover the costs. Hmm. You know what? Let's strip his estates. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, by the way, let's see. What have these guys got? I need to make sure that we've got... Oh, God. I actually... Forgot to check if I had the right comp. But it's fine. We're going to smash them anyway. Yeah, I can miss that I have 100 tyranny. Yeah, I've got like 100 tyranny. <laughs> it doesn't, honestly. It's not actually that bad, really. It is, um, it is pretty damn easy to control, actually. But the thing is, when you have like 100 tyranny as a single city state, that's when it becomes incredibly interesting. Because as a single city state, you're never going to have enough characters to pee you off to have, like, a civil war. And even though, you can't have a civil war because you only own one territory, and that territory can't be disloyal. So having a hundred tyranny as a single city state is honestly absolutely awesome, and it's definitely something to kind of do. I would honestly, if you want to, if you, if I recommend trying some, like, trying it out, I would. I, I really would recommend giving it a go, because it, it is honestly, it is super fun. It really is. 
Right, let's go and take this down quickly. I'll be able to separate piece this dude pretty quickly. Actually, let's go down here and stop him from taking that first. I don't want him teaching down my fort. This is what keeps him locked in, so we'll keep it down. So I'm going to try and get as much gold as possible. We'll get some, like, mercs, I think, to help with the conquest. I think it'll go a lot quicker. Um, and another 15 to take the bell, Jay. All right, no problem. Let's see how fast I can do it. I'm game. I'm dead game. All right, let's go over here. I'm not going for tradition yet. I'm holding off on it because I want to keep the extra morale for the conquest. It really helps when I'm fighting people. Um, anyway, let's get you over here now. Actually, let's deal with this guy quickly. I might be able to stack wipe him. Hopefully I can. Hopefully I can stack wipe. So we'll send you there. That's them dealt with. Actually, I need to really see what we've got. Yeah, I, I, honestly, it don't, yeah, I don't even need to re, like check the army comp, to be honest, or move the different lines around. I can actually smash them pretty much on my own. Um, let's go over and deal with this guy pretty quickly. Oh, by the way, I can separate piece you. I forgot about that. So we'll separate piece this dude. So that's going to get rid of some units. So there we go. Um, again, I'm going to pass judgment on them. I want to pass judgment on them. I mean, what are these guys? Yeah, they're Aquitaini, so I'll pass judgment on them. We'll welcome them. Aquitaini characters, we might as well. Uh, what next? So you're going all the way over here. This guy's trying to attack my... No, he's not. He's changed his mind now. But I am going to go around here and deal with him. I don't want him attacking my 6k stack. I really don't. So we're going to go and deal with that guy pretty quickly. So we'll do all the trade offers. That's fine. Miraculous recovery. Our guy's recovered, which is fine. Actually, we're losing food. So it looks like it's our levy that's going to go and have to seize this down. Uh, the rise of Corbis Tyrannus. Well, another guy's risen to take over the mission, which is fair enough. So this guy's going to be pretty much smashed. And then I'm just going to use Mercs, I think, for the next war. I don't even want to bother wasting time with my levies. And, like, losing manpower with my levies. So we'll get you across. You guys have got no food left, so I'll send you back there. You've also got no food, so I'll send you back there as well. Why not? We'll quickly knock this down. As soon as this is knocked down, we'll separate piece the yellow dude. And then we'll finish off the rest. We don't want to send the Olympics. I'll send Uxentia. It doesn't really matter who I send. Both of them are crap, and none of them are going to win it. So, it doesn't really change anything, to be honest. Well, we got 7% there. That's fine. Who else am I fighting, by the way? Oh, yeah, of course, I'm fighting this guy over there. I might actually hire a Merc stack. I really can't be bothered. I need to speed things up. I want, if I want to conquer it as fast as I can, I need to hire Mercs. So, I'm going to hire you guys. I can actually hire these guys. I'm going to keep them maintained forever. And I'm going to use these as my personal army. So this one's nearly down. 28% now. As soon as that goes, he's pretty much done. Let's actually go and... Um, do you have enough food? Now, wait here for the moment. You can actually siege over Santonio, I think. Now, I've got some PI. I'm going to want more claims. Um, I'm going to want claims on Avernia. Like, definitely. Because I think these might be the next ones I want to take out. These three. So I uh, need to speed things up. Need to go. Speed, speed, speed. Speedy Gonzalez style as fast as goddamn possible. Um, Caledonia needs a new governor, so I'm going to place the most loyal guy I can find. You, honestly, I'm really not bothered who it is. Hey, Big Sarge. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining. Hope all is well. So we forgot the achievement, dude. We've got the achievement. Pythos' legacy has been done at the third attempt. It's took me quite a while to actually try and get the damn thing, but I'm quite happy now that it's finally done. I'm going to send you guys over here quickly. Um, and then we'll just kind of finish these guys off fairly quickly afterwards. I'm going to attack here by quite a few men. So let's get you guys over. We'll join in. Um, you're going to join in here as well. Just to try and turn the tide of battle. Now I do want to reorganize my troops. So what he's got. He's got archers, chariots and cav. Pretty much. So um, archers, honestly, it doesn't really change anything what I do here. It really does not. I have numerical advantage. Actually, I don't. But I will do once these guys come in. Um, you guys have nearly reorganized. I have tech advantage, though. I mean, what's his morale? He starts off with 3.85. I'm at 3.85. I'm not actually that high. I could get it better. But even then, look, even though it's fine, really, he's not going to bother me at all. There we go. Done, dusted, dealt with. We'll wait for you a little while. I don't need to kind of send you back over there just yet. For God's sake, is that still stuck? I might assault that fairly soon. As soon as I get a breach, I'm going to assault the damn thing. Let's get you over here. Um, yeah, that's fine. I just want to get the one that's got no food out of the way. And um, you can now go over this side. We'll send you over there. There we go. Finally. So that's actually fallen. So we'll piece this out. 
Four guest expansion. That's not actually that bad. Um, it's not the war goal, is it? No, it's not the war leader, so that's fine. Uh, what are these guys? Are they the Santonian? And I might integrate the... I don't know. Do I want to integrate the Santonians? Um, do I want to integrate the Santonians? I mean, that's a really good question. The Aquitaini have been integrated. The I'm definitely going to deintegrate the Volcay, I think, at some point. Um, Santonian pots, what do they have? They have heavy infantry. I think there's more of them at the end when I take all this than the... I, mean, I honestly don't know. Let's just banish them. I'll get aggressive expansion down. We'll banish. I need to occupy the war goal now pretty quickly, to be honest. Otherwise, we're going to lose the damn, the damn war. So I need to occupy this fast. Um, you need to also go and occupy this fast. I absolutely missed. I wouldn't. The gains aren't worth the cost. Yeah, true, Mike. I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, oh, lose stability. We'll gain um, discipline. Because we have high tyranny, so that's why. Yeah, we need to quickly take this. Um... Like, very quickly, because I don't want to lose the damn war because of this. So, um, you're actually going to stay just behind. We'll leave you just behind these guys. What's the fort level? It's level 1. And here's level 1 as well. So, I've caught this guy out. I did declare for this. So, I think as soon as we take this, we're going to be fine. Uh, let's go for... I need to go down to cohorts. So, we'll go basic training. Basic training first, and we'll go down the rest of the line. The Volke have heavy cap. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right, Mike. They do have heavy cab, which just makes it quite useful. So that's these guys dealt with. Then as soon as I occupy this, we'll occupy the rest over there. Now I've got low food again somewhere. You. So you're going to move back here, get some food back. I can actually get rid of all the forts then after. I honestly don't really need a fort line. I can literally get rid of them. That's not going to be... I mean, all of this I can get rid of. I can just like move the forts up as I go up, but... We're, at some point, we're going to be so big, and we're going to be making so much money that I can just hire Merc Hordes to deal everything, like deal with everything that I need to do. Um, I've got a losing extra food again, so you need to go over here. I've got no manpower. This is why I'm going to be reliant on Mercs, I think, for the next wars. I just Merc, 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 and just like Merc some more. And then once I've conquered everything, that's when we'll start making a lot of cash, and that's when I think we shall probably start founding some cities. I mean, I think that would be the best possible course. 35% uh, here, 14. Please fall. Nope, didn't fall. That's a shame. Hey, Black Lord Aster, how you doing, bud? Thanks for joining. Hope all is well. We're going for the Pythias' legacy achievement. Well, going. We've already actually got it. With 59 years to spare, might I add. Again, not so high. We've got to ransack everything. It just makes it all easier. And um, what about you? We need the Pythanis. And I'm going to play some major family member. Just so I can keep them happy. He may not be the best guy, but I do want to keep the families happy. Um, so this should be occupied and then the war should be over. Or the war goal should be occupied, which it has been. Uh, now we're going to go and march up over here. We'll deal with this. There's not much more he can do now. It's pretty... Yeah, he's finished. Um, the mercs, I'm just going to keep them over here. I don't want to kind of lose too many men in battle. It's, if I can kind of dodge them, that's fine. Um, you guys, I'm just going to send you to take this down pretty quickly. I've been binging all your videos lately. Love the content. Thank you very much. Um, it, I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like the stuff. And um, hopefully a lot more. I'll do a lot more. <laughs> but thanks for the support. It really does mean a lot. Uh, let's go for the PI here. Yeah, we'll go for the PI. Again, more claims. So we're going to want to make more. Um, notably on this guy, maybe. I've got a claim on you. Yeah, I've got a claim on this guy. I don't have a claim on this, though, do I? Yeah, I don't have a claim on that. So I'm going to make a claim on this one. And then we'll keep going, I think. Maybe on this one over here. We'll get some more claims going. Yeah, I'll get as many claims as I can. <laughs> Welcome to the Stone Squad. I agree. Welcome to the Stone Squad. Where well, you can be high on whatever your vice of choice is. It doesn't have to be wacky backy. It can be sweets. It can be Coca-Cola. could be anything. It's up to you. You choose. Um, citizen output again. Yeah, I want the citizen output. What are we at now? Only 34%. Because I've raised my levies, which... Whoa, wait a second. What are you doing down there? Screw you, dude. No, let's go and deal with that guy. I'm not finding anyone else, am I? No, I'm not. Maybe another claim on Pictonia at some point. Yeah, I need to just keep making claims. As soon as I can make claims, we need to make them and just get as many as we can. Um, just influence, thank you. I forgot to do that. Very important that I did. I also probably should save up for the law that would allow me to get... Um, 
how to put it, reduce the cost of the Casus Belly, maybe, or like the claims. I think that is something I could do. I like it how my war exhaustion is also really high. <laughs> Which is impacting my pop happiness. I do need to get that down, which means I'm not going to be raising my levies anymore after this. I'm just going to be raising Merc armies, and Merc armies can do the job. Uh, Parlor State, let's go for the stability. Of course, I'm going to take anything to do with stability is going to be taken. Um, by the way, let's just go and take this back now. You can wander around. I'm not bothered about what he does. Mind addendum, even... now. Nah, I'm not going to take the stability. I have enough. I don't want to lose any PI. I'd rather keep the PI that I've got at the moment. Uh, recently just got a pair of Rome and been loving majors. Any small tribal starts would suggest for a new small tribal starts? Um, well, um, I would say Avernia if you want to play somewhere in Gaul. Because um, Gaul, Avernia, they have a unique um, heritage as well, which is fairly neat. And actually see what the heritage is. Where is their heritage? I don't think I can see their actual heritage, but they have a unique heritage. Oh no, it's down here. Is it down here? No. I don't think I can. Well, they have a unique heritage, and it's pretty neat. And they do start as a federated tribe, which makes it pretty easier to play as, as a tribe, other than the other nations around you, because you're federated, and of course, and it makes it a little bit easier. So I'll definitely recommend Avernia if you're looking to play somewhere in Gaul. Um, if you want to play Migratory or anyone, anyone really up in Germania Magna is fine. It doesn't really change anything. Um, if you want to play in Britannia, of course, the Iceni, which are located here normally, um, in this area, but they're no longer around. I think they're up in this section. Um, they're a unique nation as well with a unique heritage and they're fairly easy to play as compared to the other ones around them because you have some pretty decent bonuses. Um, so I'll definitely recommend playing either Avernia for Gaul, Isonai for um, the UK. Um, nation overview tab, top right hand corner. Thank you. You're a lifesaver, dude. Oh, is it? No, was it? Aha, but I can't see their heritage though. Yeah, I can't see their heritage. I think I can only see mine, but I can't see theirs. Um, what else would I recommend? In Iberia, I wouldn't recommend there if you like starting out because Carthage expands towards you and it makes it a little bit more difficult. So if you want to dodge them, that's fine. <laughs> oh, it's not for the UK. It doesn't seem very Anglian of you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Where else would I say is a tribe? I think that's about it for tribe-wise. Um, definitely either Avernia or the Isonai. Over here, that is the um, that would be the best best options, I believe. And you're still sieging that down there, but I don't care. I'm very tempted to change a law. I want the claim reduce claim cost. Um, I really do. I'm going to wait till we can get that. Actually, how much gold am I making per month? Four point fourteen. I have got them on army maintenance on high, so I might actually put it on like normal. The angles were just lost days anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> Antonia, let's take this. Come on, let's hurry up. I need to take this pretty quickly. Um, deal with this. Oh no, you're taking. Whoa, no way. Let's go down here quickly. I can't. Oh my god, he's actually going to take this before I do. Unless I, I'm going to go for the assault. Get you guys on there. So I don't want him taking my city. There we go. So now I've got all what I need. Um, I think I've got what I need. Yeah, I have got one I need. I can peace out. I just don't want him taking my city down there. I only just noticed. So we'll take this, this, um, this, this. There we go. We actually only get 10 aggressive expansion. It's all right. Could, could be worse. Could be more. Um, I can still have to see the Teutons in this game or I would like, although I code concerned to form Prussia. <laughs> it would be actually cool to actually play just like some form of Teutons and then form Prussia in like, import it to EU4. That would be absolutely wicked. Um, so we'll take all this now. That's pretty good. So what we got here? What are the elites? Antonian and then it's a Bridgian. Let's see what they are. I want to see the. I mean, the Santonians are Santonian. So I'm just going to kind of banish them. Uh, the Nitta Bridgian, the down here, I don't. I think the Santonian as well. Or the Aquitani. Let's see. I want to see what they are. Now, the Santonian, so. We'll crucify them. Yeah, we'll crucify them. For popularity. <laughs> Why not? So that's them all dead and dusted. Now what we can do, we can get rid of our levies. We'll, oh, bugger, no. This bundle, I clicked raise all by accident. Um, so that's done. Now. The next two are going to be these. I've got a fort here stopping movement down this side. Um, but I don't have a fort down there. You just managed to make the two tons in this game to CK3. You made the tonic order, so it is doable. Oh, okay, cool. I have to push through 600 years to CK3. Okay. 
Now that is quite hard. Check the heritage and the deployment to your tab above their ethos. We're here. Check the heritage on the diplomacy tab above their ethos choices. So, diplomacy. Here? No. I I'm sure you can see it somewhere. There's, there's definitely a way to see it. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll probably find it. It will it'll, it'll, it'll appear at some point. Uh, what can I do now? I need more... I need more mercs, don't I? Let's raise... Let's get another merc stack. I want a merc stack, though, with... Um, actually, actually, let's get rid of some of these forts. Now, I don't need them. I really don't need them. Get rid of that fort. And get rid of that fort. Get rid of this fort. Get rid of that fort there. This one can also go away. I'm going to keep these here to lock them in. Yeah, I'll keep this here to lock these guys in. And um, where do I want to go next? I can get rid of some extra forts now. Nah, all, all the other forts are fine. I have a lot of gold. I'm not spending it just yet because I want to... I mean, what do I want to do? Let's go... Actually, let's go for... Go for Grand Theatre there. And we'll go for... Where can I... Where's my cities, by the way? Do I have any cities over here? I don't really have many, so... We'll go for Grand Theatre. I'm also going to go for an Aqueduct and a... another Aqueduct. I want the Pot Capacity. More than anything else there. Um, so where do I go next? Where do I go? Where do I go? Um, so it's um, in the centre of the mural-looking thing. Right of their leader's portrait. Here? Yeah? No? Wait a sec. Ethos choices... Okay. Here? Yeah? <laughs> I can't find it. So, it's top center-ish. Okay, so here I take it. Alright. Also, I think for now, their thoughts are no idea the AI would like to ruin. Yeah, they, um, it, it can be quite tricky to find out. Ah, you must be using a mod, that's why. Okay, no, no problem. Um, no, no problem, Michael. Yeah, it's, um, the forts could really eat up your economy pretty quickly. It, it's something that you need to keep an eye out for. Definitely forts. They eat up your economy. I've just got rid of some, and I'm up to... Look, I got rid of three or four forts. Look, I'm up to 9.23 per month now. Which enables me to hire another Merc stack and just, like, kind of go to war again. Um, I mean, let's see where I can hire. There's got to be some decent Merc somewhere. So where are you guys? You're here, but I want a supply train. That's the one I've hired. I'll hire the one on Corsica. But no. I'll hire this one. That's the 11k Merc stack. I can hire that. Yeah, I'm going to hire it. There we go. So they can't have it then for the next war, which is a good thing. So I'm going to hire these guys. Now we're just going to fight with Mercs. So it lasts to get my war exhaustion down. So it means that I don't have to worry about having that up super, up super high. So... Have I got... I don't, can I get more claims going? Yeah, no, but before I do, I do want to change my law. Um, I do want to go for... Yeah, I do want to go for this. Um, assembly of soldiers. So, as soon as I... I'm going to go for assembly of soldiers. What do I want here? Offer some support? Yeah, why not? We'll pay some gold for that. That's fine. But then we'll go assembly of soldiers. That will allow me to get some more claims. And then we'll go to war again. Hey, Smoke, how you doing? Yeah, holy smokes, high tyranny. <laughs> I know, I've got, I had 100 tyranny. It's not as high as it was before, but honestly, it is, like, not really that hindrance, to be honest. I'm, it's quite, I'm actually dealing with it pretty well. Way better than I thought I was going to be dealing with it. So, that's quite interesting. So, let's just quickly reorganize you fellas. Um, I'm actually not even losing that much gold. And these two merch can do the job for me here. I don't need any more. And this is going to enable us to occupy all of France. Um, let's go now for the assembly of soldiers. There we go. See, I'm back up to 100 tyranny now. <laughs> so that's that done. And so now it should cost us less. Only 10. There we go. So it costs us 10 now. So I can actually fabricate claims left, right and centre. And of course, the amount of like the speed at which I can fabricate claims is going to make it a lot easier for me to conquer and do more stuff quickly. Um, which is good. I'm not spending any of the tradition points yet because I want the extra morale it gives me. Now for those who don't know, 
late master military experience plus 5.86% morale is plus 5% per 100 military experience, so you can get a maximum of 10, and it is honestly super duper powerful. So what we're going to do, um, you guys are going to go and deal with this dude. You're going to go and probably come through this side as well. Or well, no, you're actually going to go and deal with, um, with the Vernier. We do, we'll do two fronts, so that works for me. We'll do two fronts. That should work pretty damn well. And 51% research efficiency. I know it's low, but once we occupy everything, it's going to be a lot easier to get it up, trust me. We're just going to make so much gold that we can literally get it up as quick as we want to get it up, to be honest. Attempted to conquer Flace. The sheer, <laughs> the sheer goal of it. <laughs> now, where do we go? I think I'm ready. Attempted to conquer France, the sheer goal of it. I know, I have to. I, I, it's my English. It's the Englishness in me. I have to conquer the French. I can't, I can't help it. It's it's just it's like more than it's bigger than me. I have to do it. It's in my bones. And what we got here? We got you that peed off. You're crap. So ah, we got you though. You'll be decent. Let's place you. I don't care if you corrupt. You'll do just fine. At the end of the month, we shall go. And approval from the oligarchs. Thank you. Why not? At the end of next month, we'll go then. So I should have enough now to be able to take him on. Actually, I'll wait till I can start fabricating a claim. I want an extra claim. There we go. So this is going to reduce the amount it's going to cost me. So they're going to take Lemma Vicia here, and of course it's 57 pops. And now a little tip for those who wonder how much like conditions the war score cost, it basically depends on the amount of pops that you're taking. That's what conditions it. The more pops, the higher the um, the higher the um, how to put it, the um, war score cost and the aggressive expansion gain. Uh, you're Canadian, so we share the same heritage. Yep, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, dude. Wait, wait, Canadian. Like which Canadian though? Like, like. Quebecois Canadian, like the French side of Canada, or the uh, um, kind of English side of Canada. Please tell me it's the English side of Canada, Mike, please. Or I might have to revisit our relationship. <laughs> please tell me it's Canadian. Please tell me it's English Canadian, dude. Please. Right, let's see. Let's go. I think we can pretty much roll here. So we'll declare on you. And this will allow me to separate piece of these. Actually, I'll just declare on you. It's easier to occupy. Yeah, we'll do this. That's fine. <laughs> Screw that West Coast. <laughs> British Columbia. Okay. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. Whew. I, I was actually sweating a little bit there, Mike, going, please don't say Quebecois, please. <laughs> so you have that weird accent as well. No offence to any Quebecois over, please. I'm No offence. I just find it slightly funny. And when I think of, like, Quebec, I think of Celine Dion, and it just makes me laugh for some particular reason. Uh, but anyway, let's roll. Time to kill these guys. Again, maintaining tyranny incredibly high. Super fun. I'll take you out. I'll take this guy out. Um, I might, I might raise the levies, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Canadians are Yukon Americans who stuck around. <laughs> so we got you up here, that's fine. I'm dealing with these guys. I want to get them before they merge. I don't think they have enough to take me, honestly. They really don't. I probably don't even need to raise my levies, to be honest. Oh, a bountiful harvest. Thank you. We'll get the gold. That is definitely what we're going to need. The quicker we can take this, the better. A couple of hockey players come up to produce... to up the produce stand the other day. <laughs> Right, he's taking that, but I don't care. You can go down there if you want. So where do we... Minus 40%. Once we knock these out, it's going to honestly... It's going to be really quick. I'm just going to make as many claims as possible all over the place. So how long has it been since I started the war, by the way, on these? I mean, when did I start saying how long is it going to take us to take down the whole of Gaul? I, I can't remember when it was. Was it 494 or 495? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember what it was. I think it was 494, 495. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, that was quick. So that's been done. Now we're going to deal with these guys pretty quickly. I want to stop them from ransacking my own land. And they have a few men here. I don't want them joining up, so... We'll go and kill them pretty quickly. Um, I need a new governor in Amarikia. I'll place... Whoever... I'm not, I'm not really bothered who I place at the moment. I'll probably place this guy. You're incredibly loyal, so I'll place you. That works. Around then, 494, 495. Okay, cheers, mate. Cheers, cheers, cheers. We'll quickly go and deal with this dude. Um, by the way, I'm not on full army maintenance, am I? Which I should be. Um, what have I got now on these? Yeah, this the, the comp here is fine. I'm, I should be able to smash them. I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. Um, I have, but there is a neat trick I can do. Get ready. You want to see? 
Boom. No, does that not work? Oh, it didn't work. Or did it work? There we go. See, neat trick. I just raised my um, levies on there. So I was thinking I might lose, but no. It was on my land. And when you go onto the levy map mode, if you click where you want to raise them, you can just raise them on top of units. So there we go. Look, I just raised my 12k stack on that. So that works. So now he's down. Look, fairly easy. Nothing to worry about. And I'll just go and take the rest of the stuff. Um, actually, you're going to go and take this. The levies are going to go and deal with that. You'll be hopping off here. I'll be around back in a bit if you want to do any multiplayer shenanigans. Well, I'm, I am I think I will. Um, after, probably after after tea if you want. We can probably go, if you want to do some like Sea of Thieves or something or anything. Um, let me, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll send you a message once I've finished my tea. And if I've got a little bit of time after. But I'll, I'll let you know, uh, Kenny. But thanks for sticking around. But thank you for joining. And thanks for everything. And I'll hopefully catch you later on. But who do we send here? Who do we send? Who do we send? I'll send, uh... I really don't, I'll send the second guy. I don't want to send the governor. I don't want to get rid of him. Really. He can stay there. That's fine. So this has been dealt with. We've got this. Now I'm going to take this one quickly. Yeah, it's all going really smoothly. It's just we need to try and take as much as possible as quickly before Rome or Carthage really decide to flex their muscles. Hopefully they won't be flexing too much. Right, let's go and take this next door. I have more claims, by the way, to be able to make. So, can I make some more claims on you? No. I can make a claim on this guy. Here we go. Make a claim there. Get as much stuff as we can. So, you're fine. You're going to go over this way. So let's go and deal with this guy over here quickly. Uh, minus 21%. It's not going to take too long now. Uh, you're going to go here. And then we're going to need... What about you? Who are you allied with? You've got a few over there, but that doesn't really change anything. I think we'll just work our way up one side first. We'll work, we'll work our way along the coastline here. That's the best bet to do first. Are you literally... You are trying to seize that down, aren't you? Uh, um, yeah, uh, there's only going to be a matter of time now till they start forming defensive leagues. But again, I'm not worried about them. The defensive leagues, with the mercs and the levies, they're literally going to get smashed. Like, completely to oblivion. So beat him back. We've got some other guy trying to help him out, but it's not going to help. Now we're going to go and take over his fort that side. Now it's just a matter of time. Britannia needs a new governor. Don't want a place to corrupt guy. I'll place this dude. Honestly, I'm not really bothered about who I place, to be honest. It's not going to change too much. Even if they have, like, native traits and stuff. It's really not going to be that a problem. Uh, Faith of Diodoros. 18 gold for 6 stability. Yes, please, we'll take that. Oh, I've got more claims potentially to make, by the way. Venetia. Claim all that. I think we have like a load of claims now on this area. Yeah, I've got claims upon all this coastline nearly. I'll definitely make another one on Pictonia, I think. Because it seems to be pretty big. So maybe another claim on Pictonia will be the right thing to do. And we'll send you over here. We'll take this province capital. This one's at 7%. Actually, no. Let's um, send you down here. To... Actually, there's a 6k stack there. So we're going to go and deal with that 6k stack. You're going to go and take over that fort. But as you do, we'll take this one here. Yeah, I don't want him moving around. Our nation sticks together. Of course they do. We'll gain the stability there. Of course we want stability. So you've ran off now, but I am going to kill you. I hope you... Re oh, and we finally got him. We'll get that here. I What's the war goal, by the way? Was it? I think it was um, Avernia, was it? No, it wasn't. So I can separate piece of Avernia, to be honest. And that would wipe them out. So I don't even need to fight them. So if I occupy this before they take any of my land... Oh, I got against cancer, by the way. That's not cool. And we're going to start sieging this down. If I take this before he occupies a piece of territory, we can piece him out. I've got another claim going. Honestly, everything is rolling nicely. I like it when everything's smooth like this and we have no hiccups at all. It always works pretty damn well. Um, so this has been done. Uh, we'll now go and take this over here. And once this is occupied, we'll separate piece. So now you're... Can I not separate piece? Do I not own everything? Oh, I don't. I don't own this here. Of course, because that fort is stopped. Oh, no, I am taking it now. Okay, I was wondering why I wasn't taking it. So now I can separate piece you. And I can take all this. Must be 13 investor expansion. That's quite a bit. For for the size of the thing, it is actually quite a bit. Um, but it's not the war leader. just want to make sure. No, it's not. If you want to know if it's the war leader or not, it's the order of flags. So the first one's the war leader, and then the other ones are his allies. That's how I know who is what. So let's take this. 
Thank you, Avernia. How many Avernian pops are there in this area? They're not really that many. The Americans are quite a lot. What do the Avernia... Actually, let's just... Um, we'll banish them. Let's just banish, honestly. Why not? I'll probably integrate some of the bigger ones. I mean, what do the Averni have? Heavy infantry. They have a fairly amount, fairly decent amount, but yeah, it's, it doesn't really change too much, to be honest. They'll trade with you. That's fine. We'll have all that stuff. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do is definitely deal with you. Don't know how you've still got men there, dude, but we'll find out. Uh, stability again. Anything to take for stab, we're going to go for. The gold is not going to be a problem anymore. Celtica, we need a new governor. Place the best man for the job here. I want you. You're incredibly loyal. Yep, you're incredibly loyal. You'll do just fine. You'll do just fine. And all we need to do now is knock down what's left of this guy. And then we're pretty much done. And then we're going to continue going maybe further. Can I, I know, you know what? I need a claim over here. Another one of Pictonia. I can probably get another one over here. Who's Pictonia allied with? Yeah, there are quite a few. I can eat up all this as well. There's so much we can take. Literally so much. Which is good. Um, getting the gold again. More cash. Uh, by the way, what are you doing here? No, screw you. Stop taking the land. I need this land. Stop occupying my stuff. Um, you're going to go over here. Help him siege that. And that is good. Yep, I'm very happy with the way it's gone. And I'm also very happy to really get the achievement. It was bloody good. It felt really, really goddamn good. Because it's been one I've been trying to get for a while. And I failed twice at it. So, don't like it when I fail twice. Can't have it. So I have to do it until I get it. But I don't know what I'm going to go for next. What would you like to see me go for next? Let me know. What achievements do you want to... Let me go... Like, what achievements do you reckon I should do? I mean, I've got a load that I haven't got. So let me know which ones you want. And I'll definitely try and do them. Is that fine? Yeah, you're taking this, which is done. Can you stop occupying my stuff, dude? I mean, literally. Stop sending your men around. I just need to take this. Just stop. Stop moving around. <laughs> Please leave me alone. So that's taken. All we need is this now. And then we can peace out. Oh, more gold. Thank you. Why not? Free cash. Everyone likes free cash. You'll have to review the list, sir. Well, please do. Uh, review the list. And let me know in comments or whatnot. I could make a poll. I could make a poll. I might as well make a poll. It's a good idea. Let's take this. This. How much is this going to cost me? Quite a bit. I have a 19 aggressive expansion for this. That's quite a decent amount. Oh well. Can't be helped. Can't be helped, can't be helped. So what we got? Lemon Vision. Do I want to bring them in? Nah, I'll just banish. I'll just banish them, honestly. It's just... Why not? So who do I need now? I need to place a governor. The province of Indiketu, I think it is. I need to place one down here. But you're corrupt, though, which I don't like. You're not loyal. This guy's pretty good. I'll place you. Why not? Now, all that has been done. Let's disband our levies quickly. And I will re-raise them afterwards. Um, I've still got my mercs. So let's move you here and leave you there. And let's see where I want to strike next. I mean, I've got to continue along the coast here. I have to. I think maybe Pictonia is going to be the best bet. Yeah, I can eat all of this. Yeah, I, I can definitely eat all that. I, I think that would be the... That would be the right thing to do. Can I make another claim? Maybe on you. No, I can't. Can't make a claim on you. I make a claim on you, though. I don't have a claim on that land, which I do now. Um, so that is quite nice. Um, and I think on that note, I'm going to have to let you guys go here, fellas. I did say I didn't have as much time as the other nights. Um, I've got to go. I've kind of got to go. Um, but, um, yeah, I, um, I'll let you guys know in the coming days tomorrow. I have got an announcement planned for the channel. And uh, it does concern streaming, it concerns the kind of what videos will be put onto YouTube. Um, and I'll, I'll let you guys all know tomorrow about it. I still need to write my thoughts down and have a think about what to do. Uh, but I do need to go and take a break. I need to get ready for like kind of make dinner. 
trying to get it ready. Um, I'm on I'm on cooking duty tonight, which is uh, <laughs> which was unfortunate. Um, but um, yeah, anyway, as per usual, thanks for joining me, fellas. It's been fun. It's great, as per usual, your advice, input, and everything. It makes it so much better, which is why I want to stream the achievements instead of putting them out night by night on YouTube. It, it just makes it more fun, and um, for me, anyway, at least. Um, instead of like sitting in front of like my computer, putting on record and talking constantly to myself, it's a lot harder. <laughs> it's a lot harder to do, and it's easier to do when you have people to talk to. Uh, but um, anyway, keep an eye out on the channel for tomorrow. I will have the announcement out by tomorrow evening, hopefully by 8 o'clock, between 6 and 8, uh, detailing what my plans are for the channel following um, the previous announcement, whereas I didn't really know what I wanted to do following the announcement that Imperator was being shelved. Uh, but now I have, a, I, have a, I have a nice idea, and you know the brief idea of things. It's going to be streaming four times a week, hopefully. And, um, of course, any content on YouTube will be heavily edited stuff. It will be guides, it will be reviews, it will be um, roleplay series, it will be covering dev diaries, but all that will cover, hopefully, the grand strategy genre, um, which I enjoy, and maybe other games that I find interesting. Uh, but anyway, as per usual, salve Mike, and salve everybody else. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. And for those who are watching later on on YouTube who've not watched it live, please consider smashing that like button. And if you want to see some more content just like this, then do consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, now the um, kind of advertisement or self-promotion is out of the way. Thanks for joining me, and I'll hopefully see you all later on. Bye for now.